Hey, how you doing? Have you ever wanted to hide or show a section on your Elementor page? You know, one where you click a button or an icon and it kind of disappears or appears, whichever way you want to go with. Well, we're going to show you how to do that. I'm Imran Sadiq, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe and follow us so you can keep up to date with all of the wonderful things with Elementor and WordPress to help you, your clients and your business. Right, so we're looking at how to hide and show a section depending on a button or a click. And there is a link in our description which will take you back to a page by Elemental How or Maxime, who is a brilliant, brilliant coder and really innovative um, way he does stuff, which has the code within there. I have modified the code a bit and I will put my modified code in as well. But do give praise to him for how he created this ingenious way of how to do this. So. Let's just go over what we're trying to achieve here. I'm going to add on to my page a button, like so. Dead easy, hey? Just a single button in a section. There's nothing fancy going on there. I'm just going to make sure that the text of this font is in white, because I bet it will disappear from white in a moment. So we've just got click here. You could add in an icon. You could add in a button with other forms of text. You could add a big spiel of text, a whole paragraph of text. Do what you want but I'm just show using a button at the moment to show you don't have to use an icon, you can use a button. Because maybe you're being very specific here. Maybe in this button, I'm gonna say something like uh, step one, for instance. Now underneath step one, I'm gonna have an image. And that image will only appear when you have clicked the button. And it might not just be an image. It might be an image and text, or just text, or an accordion, or a video. It can be tons and tons of stuff. It's up to you because at the end of the day, this is Elementor and you can do what you want with it in a section. Now, the item that will appear below the button is going to sit in its own section. So I'm going to add in another section and I'm just going to leave it as one column in one section. And I'm going to dump into here an image. And that image, it doesn't really matter what I pick here. I'm just going to pick, uh, let's just pick this robot image over here. Insert that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So we've just inserted a standard image at the moment, right? Um, we're just going to shrink it a little bit. The focus of this tutorial is not about how to create images, right? Let's just get that clear. We're just, I'm just putting in some content for the sake of it. So we've got an image and that image might have had some text going with it on the left, the right, or wherever you want. But the idea is you click the button and then the image appears, right? But to get that to work, we have to put in some code, some JavaScript or HTML. How do we do that? In the section above, we're gonna drop in some HTML. I do repeat myself a lot in these videos, don't I? I don't know, it's just the way I am. Now the code for this, okay, we have slightly tinkered with it from the code that Maxine did. Okay, ever so slightly, but this is basically the gist of his code, okay? Um, the only thing we've done is we've changed this button here that said show to now say toggle because I want the user to be able to hit the button whenever they want and it will toggle whether the section shows or not. Okay, so right now, if we were to view that, that is not going to do anything because we've put in a bit of code, but it doesn't know, well, what do you want me to hide and what don't you want me to hide? What we now do is go back to the button, okay? In fact, we click on the button, not the section, the button. And we're gonna to go to advanced and in the CSS class, we are going to write click to show, okay? I'm using the same terminology that Maxime used in his um, tutorial um, and his code, just so we keep it consistent. So click to show is for the button. The section that contains the robot we are going to go into advanced and we are going to call that show click. So click to show is your button. Show click is the item. And look, as soon as I did that, the robots disappeared out of view. It's gone. What? Shock horror. Right. We're just going to click update. And we're now going to go to preview for this page. Now, when I click step one, the robot will appear. Ta -da! I click it again. The robot disappears. What? This is dark magic! Not really, it's just a bit of code. Right, we're now going to take this a step further. Let's go back into our page, okay? Now at the moment, it is disappeared. And if you want to re-see the items, because you want to be able to see what the layout is, 
just go back to the HTML and the simplest way to do it is just to take away the greater than parenthesis or whatever you want to call it symbol over there at the end of script and that should do it. Put it back in to make the code work again but just take it out for it to do that. I'm now going to make a copy of that button. Duplicate the button, right? And I'm now going to pick up that button and I'm going to stick it under the robot, but it is in the same section as the robot. So section one with the HTML can be anywhere on your page, preferably at the top somewhere. Section two is button one. Section three is the image and the next button. And I'm going to call this button, we're going to call it step two. Woohoo! Okay. And we are going to click update. So what should now happen when we view this, okay, after refreshing, is when I click step one, of course, yes, go back to HTML, put the, put the, put the symbol back in. There we go. Well, now, when you do that, you are going to get forward slash script as well. So just get rid of that, okay, because you don't need that. It's always going to do that, but don't worry. Click update. Go back to our page. Just refresh it. And when we click step one now, the robot appears and step two. Can you see what I'm doing here? Right, let's now go back over to our email page. It's called email page because this is one of my fake pages. It's, there's no email on here. Okay, so when I say email, don't sit there going, where's the form, dude? It's just the page name. Right, now step two, we're going to create another section below, like so. And I'm now going to have two columns, right? I'm going to pick up um, some text. And I'm just going to drop some text in here. And I'm going to drop some text into this one over here. In fact, we will call this one um, root2. I'm put a return. Root2 return. And over here, we'll just call this one root1. One. Okay, root1 one over there, root2 over there, right? We're going to go over to this section now, and I am going to call this section, okay, remember what the words were? Show click. I don't need to do the button because the button's already been duplicated, so it's already going to be called click to show. I'm not renaming them as click to show two, click to show three. I'm just maintaining the button names. So we now have root one and root two, okay? Um, so this is now possibly saying, look, you, you've got two directions you can now take. I'm then going to take, so let me back step a bit. So the new section has been called show click as well. So that will activate when you click the step two button. The way it works is every time you click a button, it activates the net, well, it unhides the section below. Does that make sense? So when you click step one, it's not going to show root one and root two because you have to click the button for step two first. So let's now just go over to this button here which was um, step two. And I'm just going to paste this to sit under root one. And I'm going to call this button, um, we'll call it root one, okay? And I'm going to also paste it over here. So it's under root two. And we're going to call this one root two. You probably can't see it because I'm just there. There we go, all right? Yeah, so does that make sense what we're doing at the moment? Let's go back to our HTML code. Let's put that symbol back in. Ding, 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 ding. Just delete all of that and then click update, right? So the code we have not changed, really. It's as it is. Let's go back to our page. Let's now hit the refresh button. We click step one. We are then given an image, maybe some text, maybe in video, maybe a slideshow appears, whatever you want. We then click step two. Oh, root one or root two. Which route do I want to take? So if I now click this button, it's not going to do anything because there's nothing underneath. But look, if I click this, it goes away. If I click this, this is where you've got to be a bit careful now because it only takes away the one below. Now, I know that as soon as you click step one, the step two buttons disappeared and the next stage is still present. And yes, that is a little bit annoying, but just go with it. Seriously, I just think that this is still easy, free way to do it with a tiny bit of code, no plugin, no other bloat on your system, really, other than me talking gibberish. But this for me is still really, really cool in what it does. 
Let's go back to the page again. Let's just take away that symbol so we can see all the content. Now, underneath um, root one, I'm gonna add in another section, right? So I'm gonna add in another section, which is now two columns. But I'm only gonna add in a video into root one. There is now a video for root one, okay? I'm now gonna call this section, right? I'm gonna call this one show click two. This is the only time when I start to assign numbers to what we're doing. Show click two, because I only want that to be shown when you click this button, okay? You can get away with not calling this show click two if you think very carefully with how many columns you have, but there's always a chance that you might click the root two button and then the root one section opens up, which is not what you want. So root one, we have the video and I have called this show click two. We're gonna go back to the button for root one and I'm gonna call this button click to show two. So click to show two and the video, they now have a number two. The button for root three, I'm gonna call click to show three and I'm gonna add in a section, well, I'm gonna add in another section below with two columns and in column two, I'm gonna drop in, let's drop in um, Google Maps. Right, let's just drop in Google Maps. And I'm gonna call this section, pretty obvious, right? Click show three. So over here we have click to show, uh, I'm getting this wrong, aren't I? It's show click, that's what it was, yes. Always have, always think about this. So we have click to show two, click to show three, show click two, show click three, yeah? So you might wanna write this down and as you, as you plan it out to make sure you put the right terms in. Let us now go back to our HTML code. Now the code we have here on its own is now not good enough to use. And this is where I added to the code a little bit. So all I did was make a copy of the code. Okay, let me just take this entire code because it's easier that way. Let me just paste it in. Let me get rid of that, let me get right. So what we now have is we have an exact copy of the code we have above, but this time any, any point where I had the word click to show, to, click to show, I've put a two in front. And any time I had show click, I put a two in front as well. Um, you don't actually need this line here. Let me get rid of that one. That, one's, that one is no longer needed. There we go, like that. Actually, no, that line is needed. Yeah, let me come back to that. So um, so here's the code, right, the original code. I hope you can see that, okay. Any time there was click to show, I added in a two. Any time the word show click appeared, I added in a two again. Just go through it methodically. It's not a, a huge amount of code. You, you, It's not big, you can do this, okay. What I then added in was this extra line here. So on show click two, wherever I put in number two, I then added in uh, that bit of code, which is show click three hide. Because what I'm basically saying is that if I click button two, I want anything to do with number three to disappear. I don't want to have two and three on the page at the same time, okay? And if you get down to here, where we then did show click three, da 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 da, um, click to show three, da 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 da, I then added in this line, which is show click two hide, right? So if you take root one, I don't want to see root two. If you take root two, I don't want to see root three. So let's now hit update. I hope this works because it was working earlier when I tested it all out and I hope it doesn't fail now we're doing a video. Um, and I'm not writing it as I go along because then we'd be here for two hours with me going, what am I doing? Right, so step one, robot. Step two, step two, root one, root two. What happens when we click root one? Aha, we now have the video appear. But root two is not on the page. Yes, the description is there, but the root is not showing up. What happens if I click the root two button? Well, look at that. The root one content disappeared, but the root two content is now present. And if I go root one, root two, root one, root two. I mean, if you think about it, you could do another section now after root one, and now goes on to a further step or more info or whatever. I mean, I would probably say don't overdo it because then you're adding in loads more code and make sure your descriptions are all aligned. But there's no reason why if we just go back over here, 
if I just, um, let me just get rid of, let me copy this, get rid of all the code. That's the easiest way to do, just copy the code out and paste it back in. If I go to root one, I'm now gonna add in, uh, let's add in, let's add in, what should, what should we go for, what should we go for? Let's go for a price table underneath the video. And we'll also go for, um, let's add in um, a call to action. Let's just add in, you know, oh, this looks ridiculous now, doesn't it? Anyway, look, let's just add in tons and tons of stuff. Let's go back to our HTML, put the code back in, click update, go back to our page. And it will make sense why I did all that. Okay, refresh the page. Route one doesn't just have to be a video. It could now be an image that has a further flowchart already designed in Canva or Photoshop. It could be other instructions. It could be an accordion. You know, it could be an FAQ. It could have links that go off elsewhere. It could even be a particular form. So now you're saying, um, like, um, um, what do you want? Oh, right, you want, here's your options. You know, one, two, three, whatever options. Right, you pick this option, great, okay. Now I need you to fill in this form. Aha, uh -huh. it's like doing tabs, but in a more like a sequencing form of way. So step one, step two, root one, ding, 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 ding. Look, look, all these options. But you take root two instead and now you just get the map, right? So this is like a funkier way of just doing something slightly different. You could use tabs, of course, but this for me is just like, different. Yay. So thanks to Maxime. His link for the website uh, for where we got the original code is there. I'll put, a, I'll put a copy of this code that we used as well down below in the description um, or in the comments. And I hope this is useful for you. And I hope you like it. Please like, you know, please, please do. Don't just watch and, and run away. Please do like. If you don't like it and you hit the dislike, let me know why. Was it the way I presented? Was it the content? Did it not make sense? Was it just gibberish? Please, please, please do let us know because I need to know if we're doing really well at this. Um, please do subscribe. Please do follow us. And hey, I shall see you soon.